Hey guys, Mike and Charlie, beer with Midwest Adventure Life, and today we're gonna change the oil on this Precedent golf cart. This one I believe is a 2013 uh, with a Kawasaki motor in it. So we're gonna show you how to change your oil on it, and uh, this should pretty much work for a huge range of these uh, Precedent series golf carts. So, uh, you ready, Charlie? Yep. So we warmed up the oil, we drove it around the neighborhood, and then we got the parking brake set, and we're ready to drain the oil. Step one is to find the hole in the skid plate, and there's a 14 millimeter bolt in there, and that is your drain plug. Go ahead and get that loosened. Now that we have it loosened, you're gonna wanna slide your oil tray under that hole. Now that we have the drain plug loosened from the bottom, it's easier to uh, unscrew it the rest of the way from the top. Now the oil's draining, and we'll come back once it's uh, fully drained, and we'll show you where to fill it. So we're also gonna be changing our air filter, uh, oil filter, and fuel filter. The oil filter is just between the gas tank on the driver's side. So we've loosened our oil filter by hand and if you if yours is too tight, then grab yourself an oil filter wrench. You're gonna pull your oil tray over so it catches the oil that uh, comes out of the filter. And now unscrew it. When we're waiting for everything to drain, we're gonna do our air filter. So this just uh, twists off, so you want just like that. And there's your air filter. This one's not too bad, but we're just going to swap them anyways. So you're just going to want to work this around the wires again. And then slide that right back in. And then you want to make sure that your air, air filter is centered straight. And then you're going to want to put your cap right back on. Just like that. First thing you're going to want to do is turn off your fuel so it does not drip everywhere. And then you're going to want to take off this clamp and this clamp here. Depending on when the filter was last replaced, sometimes it's a bit challenging to get it off, so we used a pick to get between the hose and the um, filter. There's a arrow on this filter. You wanna make sure that it's facing away from the fuel tank so the fuel can flow out of the tank. I am gonna put the first clamp on. Okay. Just like that. So we got both of our clamps back on, and don't forget to turn your fuel back on. The fuel filter's on, we have, um, the valve back on and the oil drain and we'll show you how to fill it. You're gonna want it nice and snug but not over tightened. Just like that. I'll come to the other side and show you how to put the oil filter in. We're putting SAE 30 oil in ours and it takes a little bit over a quart. We're gonna start by pre-filling the oil filter. Give it a minute and let it absorb in. You're gonna wanna take your finger and put some oil around the gasket to make sure it gets a good seal. You don't wanna have to overfill this because when you it goes in sideways, so it'll spill if you have it overfilled. So you're going to want to put your oil filter right there and get it hand tight. Now we're going to put our first quart of oil in and check the level. The oil goes in right where the dipstick goes in. So we, were, uh, we started the engine to run the oil through the system, and now we're going to show you where we're at with the dipstick. It's kind of hard to tell, but we're just under the add mark. Now we're going to add the rest of the oil. Just like that, the maintenance is done, and you can do it yourself too. Make sure to like and subscribe!